Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick with Indieugle, and today I will be showing you how to set up walls so you can uh, make your player go around stuff and things like that. So I'm just going to rush through the things that I've already uh, made a tutorial about, so if you don't understand what I'm doing, go back and uh, watch some previous tutorials. Okay, so, um, here is one thing that's going to be kind of different. Since this is going to be the wall that's going to block you, you want to make sure it's solid. Okay. Now to program the character. So add in a create event, and, uh, I've already shown how to do this, so it's pretty simple. Although I'm not adding in running speed or anything like that. Just to make this simple. Okay, now this is going to be a little bit diff different. You want to check to make sure that the place is free so he can move. So tap in if parenthesis uh, place free and x minus uh, 2 and y. Okay, x minus equals w speed. So what this does is um, the x minus 2 is it checks on the x axis to make sure that there's nothing to the left of it uh, for the minus. That's how you change whether it's left or right. And 2, I set it to 2 just to uh, be safe. Maybe, depending on your sprite, you might be able to get away with changing this to a 1, but I think for this one it's going to have to be a 2. So duplicate this and change it to right and change both minuses to a plus. Okay, now duplicate again for up and just change this uh, plus two here to minus two on the y axis and change this to a y and this to a minus. Duplicate this for down and plus and plus. Okay, now, still, even with this, your player might get stuck, so uh, you'll have to add in a mask, like, uh, I'll show you in a second, set this to 32 by 32, and if you hold down shift, then you can create a line as opposed to just dragging your sprite around, so you can create a line like uh, this. Okay, just clean it up a little bit and create your player, put him there. Now, like I said, he might still get stuck. You want to create a mask. So right click your player's sprite and duplicate it and go into edit, double click and zoom in. Now create a box like this. It can be any color, I believe, but I always go with red. I just like red for masks. Plus, it's very eye-catching, so you know exactly what it is. And go into the object here, and go down to mask right here, and uh, click that, and go to the red sprite. And the mask is set up. This will keep him from getting stuck. Sometimes your code does kind of uh, backfire a little bit, so the mask will just catch that and uh, keep it from getting stuck or anything like that. So you can go on ahead and run your game now. Uh, stop working and uh, go ahead and get out of that. Sorry about that. Uh, that sometimes happens with me, but my computer has a lot of problems right now. Um, okay, so it worked that time. So, here you see you can move around, but when you get to the sides of these walls, he stops. So, yeah, he can't go past them.
and sometimes you'll notice when you go down right here you can't move left or right you have to go back up to move left or right that is because he is still collisioning with the block so you might want to change the two to maybe uh, three or maybe even get this mask and uh, make it a little bit bigger maybe 33 by 33 instead of 32 by 32 and that should fix your problems uh, let's go on ahead and try that real quick uh, 33 by 33 and just fill it with red let's see if this will work and it works there you go so the mask is working it's a that's a good example to show you exactly how the mask works and uh, you're not getting stuck anymore so that's good and that's about all for this mm -hmm. tutorial sorry about the uh, game crashing a couple of times that shouldn't happen with you so uh, see you next time